The two most important things whenever you're fighting somebody are distance and timing. I've covered distancing in previous videos, so today we're gonna talk about timing. See, it doesn't matter how many techniques you know and how many combinations you know, if you don't know when to actually pull them off. Should you attack at this moment or that moment? When exactly is the best time to attack somebody? Well, according to the old masters, there are three specific moments of attack that you really need to know. And that's exactly what you're gonna learn in today's video. Keep watching. What's up? I'm Jesse from KarateByJesse.com, AKA the Karate Nerd. And today I'm joined by my brother, Oliver, who's hiding behind me somewhere. And we're gonna go through the three most critical moments of attack that you need to know whoever you're fighting. Doesn't matter if you're a karate fighter or a professional MMA fighter or a Muay Thai kickboxer, Thai boxer, it doesn't matter. Attacking and defending doesn't care about your martial art or style because timing is universal. That's why it's a principle. So the first key timing that you need to know is known as Go no Sen in Japanese. Go means afterwards. It means that something happens right after something else has happened. And that thing is your opponent's attack. Let me show. Let's say me and Oliver are fighting, okay? You throw a punch or a kick or a strike, whatever you want, go ahead. Bam! Go no sen means that I do my attack after he did his attack. So you go ahead, bam, boom! Super simple, right? I defend, then I attack. This is perhaps the most basic and essential way of countering in karate. If you look at traditional karate techniques, throw a, a straight punch. You will usually block and then you attack, right? It is the first way that you usually learn to attack somebody because you're not gonna walk around and punch people at random. Usually they attack you first, you defend and then you attack back. That's called Go no Sen in Japanese. Moving on, the next way that you can attack somebody is called Sen no Sen. That means that you actually attack them at the same time as they attack you. The term Sen is used in all these different ways of timing your attacks. And Sen doesn't really mean attack, but it means initiative, okay? So as your opponent is taking the initiative to attack, you do your own counterattack, boom, at the same time. So remember, the first way was to attack after your opponent. Now this way is attacking at the same time as your opponent. Now, the difficult part here is that you can't really stay safe in the same way that you can with Gonosen. Because as he attacks, I, if I try to counterattack at the same time, in the worst case scenario, he will actually hit me before I hit him, right? Which means that timing is super important, especially here. Because the first one, Gonosen, was relatively easy. This is a little bit more difficult. N the next one, which is called Sen, is even more difficult. So let's move on to that one. You know that you can attack after your opponent. You know that you can attack at the same time as your opponent. Finally, Sen, which simply means initiative or attack refers to your ability to intercept your opponent, to attack them before they even have started their own attack against you. There needs to be a, a sense of threat or danger already hanging in the air before you're allowed to use this tactic, okay? Otherwise, if there is no such opportunity presented and I just try to attack Oliver, he will easily defend that, take me down and ground and pound me into oblivion, okay? So you need to find the right timing, even though you're the one actually attacking, okay? So now that you know the three different moments or perfect timings for attacking, before, during or after your opponent attacks, here's an exercise so that you can know when to use each one. All right, so for this exercise where you're gonna learn the correct timing, you need to understand one concept that I call the three Ds. 
distance dictates defense. See, the best way to know which one of these timings to use is to look at the distance. Remember when we started, I said that the two most important things in fighting are timing and distance. Now this is where they intercept what we call ma'ai in Japanese. A very important concept whenever you're fighting somebody. So if the distance is great, you start with gono sen. That's the one where you attack after your opponent. So if we're at a big distance here, there's a lot of space between us, and Oliver goes into an attack against me, then I will usually attack after him, okay? Because the space allows for that. Distance dictates defense. So that's when you use Gono Sen, when you're far away from your opponent. Now, the next one, Sen no Sen, where I attack at the same time as my opponent, is what happens when we're a little bit closer up here. Okay, so I don't know when Oliver is gonna attack, but he can attack at any moment. And I know that he can easily hit me. So I need to be prepared bam, and try to time him as well as I can. See that the engagement distance between us is now closer than what it was at Go no Sen, where I'm over here, okay? Go no Sen, Sen no Sen, and finally Sen, where I try to go before Oliver. That's what you use when you're super close to your opponent because I have no idea what's about to happen this close and it's really hard for me to be able to react at such a close distance which means that the safest thing for me is to attack. Offense is the best defense at this close of a distance. That's why you apply Sen, the attack, taking the initiative yourself. Boom! Whatever you want to do. That was an elbow strike. Don't do that if you compete in sports karate because you're gonna get banned, but, but not in MMA, right? Again, doesn't matter what martial art you practice, timing is universal. It's not about the technical ability, it's about the tactical one. That's exactly what we're covering today. I just realized I need to go get our mom because if you want to be able to do this exercise correctly, you're gonna need a third person that gives a signal, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Our mom will be giving a signal uh, using a hand clap, okay? I'm gonna be the good guy, Oliver is gonna be the bad guy. So I'm gonna be standing in my fighting stance. As Oliver moves back and forth between the three distances of engagement, right? Gono Sen, which was further away, Sen no Sen, which is closer, and Sen, which is the closest one, okay? He moves freely across these three key points. And whenever my mom thinks it's appropriate, she's gonna go wham! That means Oliver is free to attack from his distance. And I need to respond with the appropriate reply. Go no sen, sen no sen, or sen. And the attacks doesn't matter, we're just practicing timing right now. Start slowly and gradually increase the speed. You ready? Okay. I try to counter at the same time as Oliver attack. So let's continue. Okay, that was Gono Sen. I tried to block or evade Oliver's attack and then I did my counter because he was further away. That was Sen. I attacked before Oliver did because he was so close. That's all I could do. Great job, mom. Thank you for that. Okay, and uh, I guess that's it for today. Now you know about the different kinds of timings, when to attack, because like I said in the beginning, doesn't matter how many fancy combinations and spinning hook kicks you know, if you cannot actually apply them in real time. And that's what this video has been all about. And I hope you enjoyed that. Train hard, good luck, have fun.